Yeah, it's back again. Hero. Yes. No, Hero. As I said, ran an accident yesterday. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Welcome back to another episode of Inverkami Weekly. Yeah, it's back again. Drivers had an absolutely horrendous time last night. So slippy, one of the vans had an accident, so... My sister's actually, and her partner, Nick, are actually out just now delivering the milk in Manning's Range Rover that they couldn't do in the morning. So I'm actually waiting to meet them in 5e. We're jumping this van here. So there were certain doors that um, Chris couldn't get done and Stephen couldn't get done. So I'm actually way down with this van. It's still got milk in it to give to my sister. Well, it's actually Nick that's going to go with this because my sister actually has a job to go to. Nick's offshore, so he's at home for a while. So very lucky that these guys are here to help. Um, so that is me basically just going down the road just now. It just dropped the milk off for them. So. Oh, it's just an absolute disaster. I had drivers phoning me through the night. It was just so slippy. When I went to bed at 11 o'clock, there was just no snow, but it's starting to melt now. I mean, it's lunchtime now, and the milk's still not all been delivered. But that's one thing that we'll do is we'll do our best to get on the doorstep. So, just so I keep everyone up to date, I am just away down to 5 now. I'll meet my sister and Nick and top them up with milk and they'll get the last 40 or 50 doors done. Thankfully it's actually, as I say, it's starting to thaw now, but it's just such a hassle. I've uh, got the cattle on that fed this morning, not too bad. The milk recorder was actually meant to be here. Jackie texted me last night after the milking. I said, to know everything's fine, no snow. What time are you leaving? She said 6.30. I said, right, I'll let you know in the morning. But by that time, or I knew the drivers had been phoning me all night through the night, so I knew it was not going to be passable, it wasn't worth a hassle. So, um, cancelled her, so she's maybe going to be coming on Thursday now, but it's just, just honestly, nobody has any idea how much hassle it causes. Um, but it is quite warm now, so I'm hoping it heats up and then um, we get rid of a lot of it for tomorrow because I honestly don't know if it gets, if it's as bad again tonight. I honestly don't know what we do tomorrow. I'm just a little bit worried that we're getting staffing um, and worried about deliveries. Well, thankfully we're not out tomorrow night, or tonight should I say, but um, Wednesday evening and Thursday morning we're out. So it's just, it's got a lot to do to get rid of that. And it's been forecast for a few days now. Well, it's forecast, I think when I last checked the forecast, there was signs of snow until next Thursday. So who knows what's gonna happen. Who knows? Hero. Yes. Milk Hero. Marin's just been out with Nick. As I said, ran an accident yesterday. What did he do? Whoop. Hit a wall? Hit a signpost, then hit a wall. Yep. Uh, delightful. I'm going to the body shop now. My sister's just away at the body shop just now on her way to work. Nick's taking my sister's car. Say hello, Nick. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, I better get home back to the farm, back to paradise. Um, I'll leave my sister to it. Nick's away to Peterhead to finish off the doors that uh, Stephen never managed to get done. So everyone should have got their milk today, bar one or two that really are impossible to get to in this weather. So apologies if you didn't get your milk, but thanks for all the support anyway, guys. me back in the farm track literally took about 20 minutes to get Marion's van or the van man is taking to the body shop um, out of the car park doesn't even look that bad it's just so slidey um, 
think maybe get some new tyres put in that van as well, see if that makes a difference. All weather ones, because this van pulled out of the car park not too bad, so I don't know why that other one didn't, but maybe that's got something to do with it. I dare say, I don't want to be too hard on any drivers because the conditions were horrendous last night, so I'm not blaming anyone. It's just, it's just one of those things that are quite frustrated, isn't it? Because I know getting parts is an issue as well, so potentially driving around with a, a van with half a bumper for um, for a good few months, potentially, I don't know. We'll see, Marin has actually spoke to somebody about um, a bumper and it's actually not too expensive. Um, it's just um, no idea of availability yet, so we'll need to check that out, but get back to the farm and have some lunch and then face the next crisis, I think. That is me just away back up the road. As you can see, it's starting to fill in again, which is absolutely delightful. So that's the milking done. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. Tomorrow's going to be fun.